to Heidi. She just turned her camera off. But uh, Heidi, you're kicking ass if I uh, hear the numbers correctly. Are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, uh, yes. I, 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 I hear you're going to be putting uh, your other Washingtonians to shame here pretty quickly. Awesome. What was, Don't what tell was, Jason that. What, what was, <laughs> yeah, we, what, we, what, we want to spark, con you know, uh, competition. Yeah. A little friendly uh, wager. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> make it yeah. a little spicy. Make it, make oh, it there, like, there's somebody else. lobster dinner wager. Uh, yeah. Heidi, what did you, what did you do uh, last month? Um, I did. Well, February did one eighty-five. I'm I'm ending the month right now at seventy. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, and so so last month you did eighty-five. You're down a little bit this month. Um, uh, you know that's risk number one is you have a record month and then you lay, lay off a little bit. Krista, what did you do last month? And I'm ending this month with 84. What did you do last month? Uh, 82. Okay. Okay. And so, Jason, uh, Jason, we got to hear from our other. Uh, yeah. yeah. We had, uh, what was it? March was 97, 97K. Yeah. yeah. And then this month, right now, we're at 93K. And I need to see if we made, we were going to make some extra. So we're going to be around 96, 97 by, okay. by the end of today. Hi, Heidi, will you make me a promise and kick his ass next month? Because he, <laughs> he, 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 needs, he needs somebody to spark. And, and Chris, the same thing. He needs somebody to spark his growth because we're going to get him to 200. And yeah. uh, every, every, everybody else, by the way, and the, the same thing. Uh, what did uh, what, uh, what did the Sullivans do in Houston last month? I think we did last month was 87, this month 85. Okay. Kick their ass, too, uh, Heidi. They need, they need a spur to action. Uh, we got we got to get them to 200 as well. Uh, the, the, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Well, you know, one thing, Master Oliver, I just want to say about Seattle. Uh, you know how some of the schools were sometimes nervous when the school opens. Uh, you know, fairly close to them and things like that. Well, these guys are all within 20 or 30 minutes of each other, and uh, and they're all doing those kind of numbers. So. Uh, realize and these are guys that actually know what they're doing so it's when we've got these knucklehead schools that have no clue on what to do the last thing you ever worry about is what they're charging what the competition is because there is no competition yeah. it's well, like I, mean, I, said, I said in retrospect you know when i when i opened the uh, six schools in rapid succession if if i had to do it differently the one thing i would have done it differently is they all would have been on the west side of town and they all would have been much closer to each other. Um, I, I did it intentionally because I wanted to be on TV and I wanted to be on citywide papers and I wanted to be spread out enough so we could cover all the ground. Now you also wanted to do it like Washington, D.C. Right. Well, that, that, that was it. The thing June Ray did. He yep. didn't put them all in D.C. or all in Maryland. He, he spread around the Beltway so he he could capture the marketing with all. Yeah. But that was, and as you well know, that was my model. Um, yeah, uh, exactly. Well, that's why you did the five schools in 18 months, because we did eight schools in three years. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. And Nick did like nine uh, uh, Arthur, uh, Art Linkletter locations in, I think it was 18 months or something like that. So. Yeah, yeah. Heidi. I just wanted to say I joined this group exactly one year ago. And I remember you guys telling me in one year, you're going to be a million dollar school. And I was like, oh, ha, 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 that's so <laughs> And then, um, like, I, I, my numbers that I've been putting up are crazy. And I only have 160 students, you guys. So, <laughs> like, I'm a by, by, by the way, uh, 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 Jack, Scott Brandy, Jack he's, he's get, get, yeah. kicking your average uh, 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 value per student um, all, all over the place. Yeah. Like I'm a single mom with a business. Like you guys can, anyone can do this. You know what I mean? Like we can, anyone can do this. It's really. Heidi's, Heidi's just getting into the renewals. Yeah. <laughs> well, and by the way, your school has only been open for what? 24 months? 18 months. 18 months. So, okay. Yeah. I sorry, be, wait, 18, no, a little bit longer. So okay. 20, 20 months. Now, now we know why, I guess it's Marie. Where's Marie? It's it's the girls. It's uh, Brandy. It's Marie. It's Heidi. Uh, you know, 
you know, it, it's the schools that have all the females. You guys better get you some girls working for you so you can get the numbers up. <laughs> well, what, 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 whatever, whatever it takes. And, uh, um, and by the way, your, your, your referral to us, which we always appreciate, uh, pronounce her name properly for me. Oh but, my gosh, guys. Gene Hyde. She started in December and she did like 40,000 last month. And just, she's only been open for five months. When you say started, you mean the doors opened in the school. Correct. When she started, she was three or four months before opening her school. Yeah, she opened her school in December and she's she has 100 students and it's like month five of even being open. Yeah. Hey, Jack, you better listen to this. Now, guys, uh, you, you have to remember. It's not, it's and she's not, in Texas, I, I was, not in, yeah. I was kidding about the girl stuff, but uh, I'm telling you what, what they're doing is just doing, they're not preconceived on any ideas. You know, what I like about Heidi is that, you know, she was, she was a member before with her ex and uh, they didn't do half as well because the, and I hate to say it, Heidi, but your ex was holding you down because you could only do what he was telling you. And once you got him out of the way, sorry to say, uh, you just said, okay, I'm doing everything. They say, I'm not picking and choosing. And, and that's what happens with a lot of schools is they pick and choose. And Jan said the same thing. And I think Scott has said the same thing is rather than pick and choose what things you wanna do that we tell you, you just do them all. and. And don't look back. Well, and, yeah. Uh, to, to be fair, you had how the long hardest you in business. You you just got to do the stuff that's going to work. Hello. Yeah. To, to 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 be fair, Jan was the hardest headed person I think we've worked with. So she argued everything, and it took her three yeah. times long to get there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so she did get there, but she can uh, have the record, and then we'll... that's right. That's right. Uh, but congratulations, Heidi. Well done. And, and Krista, uh, and Jason, and Scott, and and, uh, and I is Bruce still on or did Bruce hop off? I think he had to hop off. Yeah, yeah. yeah Bruce was was uh, also doing some good numbers. Uh, he had gone up a lot, and uh, and Delfino has done good. Uh, and what I liked about Delfino is, uh, is is what I I told him before. I said, you know, you know, you're doing a good job with your staff is when you go away and the, and they either keep it keep it above or do better or uh, as good as when you're there. So uh, uh, keep that in mind with everybody else. Uh, you got to build your staff to, to give you that time so you don't have to do everything 24 seven. And, uh, you know, and Krista and Heidi and, and, and Jason, that's where you're working towards is to have that staff. And I think Jason's already got it. And I think Heidi and Krista are working towards that where they have the staff where, but the, the bottom line is if you don't show them how to do it, they're never going to have the belief system. So that's why somebody's got to get in there and do it. And then once they see that it works, then the belief systems there, and they'll jump in and do their share. And I think that's where Delfino's at now too, uh, is really, really important. And again, thank you. Thank you, Delfino for that, uh, that hammock. Um, Heidi, we'd love to have a glowing testimonial. It doesn't have to be in a hammock or topless. Uh, 